Hello, everyone. My name is Jared Gray, and I am from Montrose uh, High School. And this summer, I, w I went to Tucson, Arizona for five weeks to study paleoclimatology at the University of Arizona at, uh, with Nicolette Buckle, who was my main lead mentor. And so what this lab basically does is they take sediment cores from around the world and they bring it back to the lab and, and uh, do multiple tests and trials on the cores to figure out the drought history in the area. And I specifically worked on um, a Nepali lake core. And the three main tests that I did was loss of ignition, charcoal sampling, and gray size sampling. And so loss of ignition is where you put uh, sediment samples from the core into little crucibles, like right there, and you put them into these ovens. And you cook it at, at 110, 515, 1,000 degrees Celsius to burn off water, organic carbon, and inorganic carbon. And you weigh it in between each of these trials. And so charcoal sampling is, is where you'd put the sediment samples into a cup and put in a bunch of chem chemicals into it so then it breaks down uh, the organic matter. And then you'd put it in through a little um, sieve or strainer to take out all the small and necessary particles. And then you would pour the rest into a Petri dish to where then you would analyze uh, you would analyze it under a microscope to count all the charcoal particles. And the last, the last sample I, uh, test I did was grain size, which is where you poured uh, hydrogen peroxide into a little vial along with a sediment sample. And that is to break down all of the organic uh, matter completely, because that's, that's required to be able to accurately do grain size. And so here's my entire internship in one picture. On, 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 the, on the top is charcoal sampling data. And here is loss of ignition data. And this is a picture of the core that is like, uh, that's related to the data above it. So it's kind of cool to see like where the spikes are and stuff. And so some fun things that I did this summer was I watched a lot of lizards because Arizona's 50% lizards. And I <laughs> also liked riding my bike, just exploring everywhere. I actually had to ride my bike every day to work for about two weeks. And the most surprising things was that distilled water is dangerous to drink, which I didn't know before that, but it was kind of useful to know because uh, we worked with distilled water every day. And also that grain size sampling took several months to to completely get all the organic matter out. So that's why I was that's why I was only able to do a small portion of it. And thank you.